The timing of signals in your circuit can be critical, and being able to verify a proper timing can greatly aid troubleshooting. With delayed trigger, you can trigger on faults where required minimum and maximum times between edges of two signals are not being met. Four types of delays are available. They include a trigger when the time difference between selected edges of two signals is greater than a preset time, as well as triggering when the time difference between selected edges of two signals is lower than a preset time. Two additional delay types are available that use a combination of these two types. Okay, let's go ahead and set the scope up for a delayed trigger. Uh, I'm looking at uh, two signals, very similar, um, but um, there's a delay between the two that's less than 100 uh, nanoseconds. Each uh, major graticule is 100 nanoseconds, and you can see the difference between the two rising edges is uh, a little bit under that. So let's go ahead and select trigger menu and it defaults to edge so we'll change that to delay and now our source is channel 1 rising edge so, uh, source B is channel 2 rising edge as well and we are going to specify a delay type of greater than a preset time so we can go to the second uh, screen of the trigger menu and uh, select the 100 nanoseconds which it is selected at this point and as the error occurs the scope is triggered and it's uh, it's over 100 nanoseconds so we've uh, been able to uh, find our timing dial uh, uh, violation